Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. And I'd like to firstly say very belated apologies to Mike Adams for my slowness in putting this review together. And uh, the reason I've hesitated is, is that I've wanted to research the topic more. Mike wants me to talk about the Hamilton X-Wind watch. And I, I didn't want to just jump in there and, um, you know, I just didn't want to go in there uninformed. And Hamilton is a uh, very, very interesting brand. It's a brand which was American and uh, it, uh, it's now a Swiss brand. So it's, 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 it's kind of a, um, it's an interesting cuddle of fish and it's something that is, um, it's something that's, that's uh, evolved over time. And that's not the only watchmaker who's done that. No, no. Um, Breguet was a, a French brand who became Swiss. And um, some other brands have, have done, you know, they, they've, they've been re resurrected. But uh, Hamilton itself was, um, was founded in about 1892. And uh, it, the first watch was the 936 in 1893. The company went on to market pocket watches and wrist watches. And in 1984 it became one of the brands consisting of the Swatch Group. The Swatch Group owns Omega. They also own Breguet. But uh, the American history, Hamilton itself was in America from 1892 to 1969. And it's, it's, quite, a, um, it's quite an interesting chapter in the, in the history there. And uh, in, in, the, in the late, in the mid-60s, Hamilton acquired the Bruin Watch Company. Um, and they, they, they moved, they moved their operation to sort of Switzerland. Um, and they used a lot of, of Swiss movements there. In 1969, the Hamilton Watch Company completely ended American manufacturing with the closure of its factory in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Shipping, shifting all manufacturing to the Bruin factory in Switzerland, and uh, that's 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 the transition that's happened there. And Hamilton's an interesting brand in the sense that they've always been a fairly reasonably priced brands, and the modern Hamiltons of today they they no longer use in-house or proprietary movements. They they use ETA type movements, which which isn't isn't really that terrible because many other makers use ETA movements, and this is a, a fairly good value bang per buck brand, and they've also they've also um, how would you put it you know that they're, they're they're a great value brand. If other press more prestigious brands could use value type movements why can't Hamilton and and Hamilton watches themselves are fairly good bang per buck they're good value pieces so there's nothing to sort of be upset about with 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 owning a Hamilton